Hey, I'm Lindsay, and this is your new essential daily warm up for roller skating. Our first move is bubbles forward. Once you finish your forward bubbles with a plow stop, we are heading to one pass of backwards bubbles. Go ahead and finish your backwards bubbles with a T-stop and head into two times two foot slaloms side to side, making little S's with both feet. Once you get to the end of your first pass of slaloms, go ahead and do a 180 turn and head right into those second pass of slaloms. Go ahead and 180 turn out. And next we are going into single foot skating on our left foot, one pass for as far as you can go. Turn around and let's do our right foot. Next up is our cannonball. So we're going to be getting some momentum and then squatting down into the cannonball and then popping back up and then you're gonna turn around and do it again. Get those legs warmed up. After the cannonball, our next move is manual. First, we're going right foot all the way as far as you can go and then turn around, head back and do the left foot. If your toe keeps getting caught, remember to twist your toe stop in so it raises it off the ground a little bit. Our next move is shoot the duck. First on our left foot, then on our right foot. It's important to practice both sides so that we first don't become uneven, but also are able to do skills on both sides just as well. Go ahead and turn around. Next is our arabesque right. So make sure to keep that bottom leg a little bit bent so that you don't get tippy. Then turn around and as you probably guessed it, arabesque left. After that, we're gonna be balancing the other way with our leg in front of us, still keeping that bottom leg bent and arms out to the side for balance. Go ahead and turn around. Our next move is crossover steps. You can always do your first pass as small crossovers and then your second one as aggressive leaning crossovers if you want to spice it up a bit. After crossover steps, you're gonna turn around and go into bunny hops. Try to fit at least three into each pass, if not four or five, and then turn around on your second pass, go ahead and try to go a little bit higher this time, still keeping those feet staggered. Next up, we have one pass of toe stop moonwalks. A cool looking move, and it also helps get used to your toe stops and also get your feet used to a dribbling motion. Next, we have transitions in a row, all facing to the left. And these are all 180 degree transitions. So as many as you can fit in your one pass across, and then you're gonna head back and you're gonna do the right side because we gotta know how to do both sides. Now that you've warmed up your transitions, we are going to use them by doing transition and then going to our double toe stop two times on each side. Next up is our heel transition. I remember we learned this just a couple of videos ago, all the different variations of transitions. If you wanted to throw those in, you could, but I chose the heel transition because it's super smooth and super useful. And so we do that both directions on our left and our right side. Next up, you're going to be doing a transition into a backward strut, two times. Once you've done your two times backward strut, we are moving into our stationary series. The first move is toe stop pivot jumps. So we're jumping side to side on our toe stops, getting familiar with them and getting used to how they feel to use. After you've done 10 of those, we have 180 pivot jumps. So staying in stagger stance and you're pivoting your hips side to side. After you've done 10 of those, we have dribbles with a 180 turn. So you're dribbling and then pivoting 180. Once you've done those, we have one of my favorite moves, which is toe stop circles. First, we're doing five forward, 
And you can do these just randomly in place or like in a straight line kind of going across. And then after you finish your five circles forward, you have five backwards. And we are getting close to the end. So we have two moves left. Our first move is two foot spins going towards the right. Then we have two foot spins going to the left, of course. And our last move for your essential warm up, toe heel spin. So first we're going to the right and then to the left. And now you are all warmed up and have reviewed all the essentials that you need. Really good job.